Subtraction Concepts Learning Targets Illustrate subtraction as taking away or comparing elements of sets. Illustrates that addition and subtraction are inverse operations. If you have 10 cookies and you want to give 9 to your friends, how many cookies will be left? How many cookies will be left? And what operation will be used? And understand. When we subtract, we take away. Nine minus four is equal to five. Four nine. Minus 4 is equal to 5. Let us study the next example. Father bought 9 pineapples. He shared 3 pineapples to our neighbor. How many pineapples are left? How many fruits are there? Nine minus three is equal to six. Or this form nine minus three is equal to six. How many more pineapples are there than watermelons? We can also think of subtraction as comparing elements of the given sets. There are three more pineapples than watermelons. How do we use subtraction in comparing two sets again? Now, look at this. Mother needs four eggs for her recipe. She already has three eggs. How many more eggs does she need? So four minus three is equal to one. Mother needs one more egg. Opposite of addition is subtraction. Minus sign is part of a subtraction sentence. That means to take from. The symbol that we use for subtraction is minus. The answer to a subtraction sentence is called the difference. These examples. If I have 15 apples and I need 
give my brother five apples, how many apples will be left to me? Draw the problem to find the answer. Fifteen minus five is equal to ten. Therefore, ten apples will be left to me. Ali Mena bought sixteen ripe tomatoes and four unripe tomatoes. How many more ripe tomatoes did Ali Mena buy? than the unripe tomatoes. I will use counters to solve the problem. Ali Nena bought 12 more ripe tomatoes than the unripe ones. Remember, subtraction is taking away elements of sets. Comparing sets and the opposite of addition. Thank you for listening. You may now proceed to your next task. Goodbye.